Uh, okay, so let's talk about video effects. This is like more intermediate stuff. Any questions before we move on to the video effects? Okay, so go look at the top. You see editing, you see uh, color, effect, and effects. So go to the effects page. Your whole layout changes. So now we get these, uh, look to the right hand side, and you'll see presets, Lumetri presets, audio effects, audio transitions, video effects, video transitions. So let's go to video effects. So the way you, uh, you interface is you click the little arrow next to the video effects and then you'll drop down menu with a bunch of different video effects. I'm gonna show you one video effect that is really helpful. Go down to transform. Click the arrow next to transform. And then you're gonna see um, crop. And then you're gonna bring crop, you're gonna pick it up with your cursor and drop it on top of the clip that you want to crop. <clears throat> so everybody should do this just because it's a really useful tool. Um, maybe uh, when you look at this image, like say Chris is there, Finn and Avery, the actors are there, but you don't want the focus to be, you want it to be on say Finn, not really Avery and Chris. So with the crop tool, drop it onto the clip, you're gonna go over to the left hand side and put your cursor over scale. Scale is at the top left hand side if you see my cursor there. And it becomes a little arrow, uh, two arrows and a finger. And I'm gonna change the scale. I'm gonna bring, bring a fin larger. And then I'm gonna move the positioning which is right above it. So that fin is in the center. And Finn is, there he is. So what that does is I've, I've now made the focus with just Finn as the focus, not, not Avery and Chris. So that, that crop tool is really helpful. Like you shot that flower, that flower looks beautiful, but there's like crappy things on the right side and you, want, you don't want the focus there. So you're gonna move your video and, it, and you can make it look good in a way that um, maybe you just made a mistake or something, yeah. Yes, question. I don't have it on there. You don't have oh. the position and scale? No. Uh, top left. I've... Uh, scroll, scroll, it might be up there. And, uh... Okay, so yeah, maybe you can't see it because it's in the motion file and you have to click the arrow to, um, here I'll show you reverse engineer this here. So motion is up here and you click it and then the position scale shows up. Now, in, in video effects, if you look on the right hand side, there's a lot of, oh, sorry, any questions about cropping? You don't need to know this, but it's really helpful. Um, you look here and there's like, say, blur and sharpen. So let's say we wanna do a blur of thin in this video. So we pick directional blur just cause no particular reason and I've dropped it onto the blur. I look on the left hand side and I find blur length. Uh, and then I, see, do you see how Finn is getting blurry? Yeah. So the blur length is just like increasing, like if I want it really blurry, I go all the way to the right and then I go clear. So each of these effects have its own properties so the effects are on, the, on this side, and then on this side is how you control the effects. So if you want to make it look dark, or you want to make it look blurry, or you want to make it look weird, or whatever, that's what those effects are for. I don't use a lot of Premiere. I should use it more. So I don't know how if you use most of those effects. <clears throat> you can just experiment, though. So any questions about video effects? Um, super fun. Like the more you experiment, the more you find it. Yes, question. How do you get out of it? How do you get out of effects? Yeah. Go to the top and click editing and then it'll change your format of your... But like, it's still on my cursor. Oh, how do you get the, the effects yeah. out, of, out of your clip? Uh -huh. Oh, um, so this is something I'm still learning. I would take, what I would do is, there's two, the easiest way is to um, command Z which will go reverse engineer your um, 
it will it will get rid of what you just did. So like if you put blur on there, you don't like blur, just do command Z, it will take it away. Or it'll, you have to click it a bunch of times depending on how many times you messed with it. <clears throat> um, another way of getting rid of the effect is just um, every effect can go zero. So you just go to the effect control and, and bring it all to zero so it's not impacting it. Does that answer your question? Is that good? Yeah. Uh, Peter, Yeah. another way I just did was like because I right clicked on the special effect and then it has had two options. Oh. The second option is clear. So yeah, you could go right click onto the clip and then clear it. Where did you say clear? Uh, I know, like specifically on the special effect. On the special effect, I had a right click to. Okay, so you may be able to do that, which I've never done before. I don't know. This looks different from our. Uh, okay. Oh, there's clear. Oh, right. Really? Yeah, right. Oh yeah, there. clear. Oh no, that cleared the whole thing. Well, it was it was different for. Um, you could try to remove attributes. Uh, oh yeah, here. So actually, if you right click the clip and then go here, watch, watch me do this. So right click the clip, remove attributes, and you can take out motion, take out opacity, time remapping, and then the effect is gone. So you can do it any of those three ways. Command Z, remove attributes. Uh, you can like lower everything to zero. Any questions about video effects? OK. One other video effect that's super easy is speed. Some of you like want to do a slow motion thing. Some of you want to do speeding up. This is how you do it. Everybody who wants to change the speed, look up. So <clears throat> you right click the clip. You go to speed duration. Let's say we want this clip to be super fast. We're going to make it 500%, meaning five times. We click it, and then here we go. Watch it go fast. Great, chipmunks. Okay, maybe we want to go really slow. We're going to go to speed, duration. We're going to make it 10%. Okay, and here we go. Okay, <clears throat> so that's how you do it. <coughs> okay, so. Any questions about video effects? I'm going to keep going. I'm going to show you two more things, and then I'm going to stop talking because my throat's killing me. So uh, video transitions is really important. How we get from one video to another. Everyone should watch this because you're going to need this at some point in your life if you're editing. So let's, let's take away the video effect so it's not so uh, ugly. Go open video transitions. Go to dissolve, which is two down, and then pick up cross dissolve. This is the transition like 90% you'll be using. So you can take cross dissolve, pick it up, and drop it between two clips like that. I'm going to make it bigger so you can see. OK, so watch, watch the screen. Here we go. That's a dissolve. Usually use this if you're like trying to make it seem like a dream or uh, we're going in the past. Um, I mean, even if your film begins, it's like to have it dissolve in. Like we call it cross fade, cross dissolve. That's really important. Um, maybe you don't like that, so you're going to delete it. Oops. No, come on. I'm trying to delete it, but it's not working. Okay, uh, you can use other ones. Like, let's use something really ridiculous like um, 3D motion. Cube spin, always a fun one. When people get dissolved, they go a little dissolve, I mean, a little uh, transition crazy. And then there's a cube one if you're trying to make some kind of cheesy 80s video. Okay, any questions about transitions? <clears throat>